Tesla Powerwall 3, Franklin Whole Home Battery. Which is the best battery storage system for your home in 2024? I'm gonna be answering that question and teaching you all about these two market leading batteries in today's video. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're gonna be doing a head-to-head -head comparison of the new Tesla Powerwall 3 and the Franklin whole home battery system. Now, these two systems use two very different architectures. Tesla Powerwall 3 is a first of its kind battery inverter integrated DC coupled energy storage system. And then of course the Franklin whole home system is an AC coupled inverter agnostic energy storage system that you can pair up with just about any of the leading solar inverter brands on the market. Now, we're gonna be doing the evaluation in six different categories. Each category has a maximum score of five points for a maximum overall score of 30 points. Now, those categories are power, including continuous power and peak surge power of the battery. Uh, of course, we're gonna be looking at the storage capacity of the battery the warranty term of the battery, uh, of course, the cost of the battery system and the cost to have it installed. Also, we're gonna be looking at how easy the battery is to install. This is a big issue in the industry right now is ma managing the, the logistics around battery installation. So we've added this as a new category, ease of installation. And then of course, what I like to call the X factor. And what the X factor is, is a way where I can award additional points where there may not be a direct one-for-one -one comparison between the two products, but where it could have significant impact for you as a potential system owner. And with that, let's get into the comparison. All right, up first is the new Tesla Powerwall 3. Now, in terms of power, the Powerwall 3 boasts impressive power of 11 and a half kilowatts continuous power with enough peak surge power to start a 185 locked rotor amps compressor. Now that's a lot. That's more than just about any other single battery system that's on the market today and adequate for most home backup. Now in terms of storage capacity, Tesla has stayed with the 13 and a half kilowatt hours of storage capacity. Now that's not gonna be enough to do whole home backup for a 24 hour period, but in many applications, that will be enough for critical load backup only for about 24 hours. Now, in terms of the warranty, Tesla is staying with its 10-year warranty. Even though we have seen other competitors like Franklin and Enphase offering longer warranty terms, Tesla has stuck with a 10-year warranty. Uh, and I think that makes sense, especially in today's world with NEM 3.0 or with the loss of one-for-one -one net metering, people are gonna be using these batteries more and more on a daily basis. And of course, the more you cycle the battery, it's gonna reduce the battery life. Now, in terms of cost, the Tesla Powerwall 3 is probably one of the lowest, if not the lowest cost, total solar storage inverter system. Um, and the reason is because, again, it is, a, it is a fully integrated solar inverter and battery storage all on a single appliance. So in terms of the installer's cost to install, very, very price competitive here. Uh, in terms of the physical ease of installation or the actual ease of installation, the Powerwall 3, it's still a very heavy battery. The, the battery itself, or, the, or I should say the, the integrated battery inverter unit weighs close to 300 pounds. So I wouldn't say it's a very easy to install product, but the fact that the two major components, inverter and storage are integrated is gonna help you make up a little bit on install time. And in terms of X Factor, I'm gonna award the Powerwall 3 plus two X Factor points. We've already talked about the elegant integrated design of the battery system itself. Um, also being able to tie in with the Tesla app if you're already a Tesla vehicle owner. I know a lot of the system owners really like being able to track everything on one platform. Solar, battery storage, electric vehicle charging, all nicely integrated. So this is the Tesla Powerwall 3. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Solar Insure. If you're considering installing a solar and battery storage system for your home, then there's no better way to protect your investment than Solar Insure. Solar Insure is the leading solar warranty provider that gives you total system protection for 30 years. The program covers all major system components, including solar panels, racking, inverters, and optimizers. Roof penetrations are also guaranteed for 30 years. And the warranty includes labor, so you're covered even if the contractor who does your initial installation goes out of business. So if you're serious about protecting your solar and storage investment, then tell your contractor you want Solar Insure, or go directly to the Solar Insure website so you can learn more about the program. Thank you, Solar Insure, for supporting the channel and for sponsoring today's video. Uh, and by the way, I should mention both of the batteries that we're reviewing today 
are on the Solar Insurer approved vendor list, whether you're talking the Tesla Powerwall 3 or the Franklin whole home battery. All right, now let's take a look at the specs on the Franklin whole home battery. Now in terms of power, the Franklin battery provides five kilowatts of continuous power with up to 10 kilowatts surge power. Uh, now again, that's, that's a nice surge overload rating, which is really gonna come in handy when you're starting up heavy motor loads like air conditioning compressors, for example. In terms of capacity, the Franklin battery has 13.6 kilowatt hours of usable battery capacity. The, the actual total capacity is closer to 15 kilowatt hours, but that additional capacity is reserved for what we call black start, so that basically the battery never fully drains down to where if you're in a grid down mode, the Franklin battery can wake up your inverter system so you'd never be fully without power, or the battery would never have to be jump-started by a technician. So 13.6 kilowatt hours of usable battery capacity. Now, in terms of the warranty, Franklin offers a 12-year warranty. So slightly higher than Tesla here. And again, th these things are really going to be exercised now because as more and more utilities go away from one-for-one -one solar net metering, you're gonna find more and more homeowners are choosing to use their battery in a self-consumption mode meaning you're gonna be running the home off the battery on a daily basis and then recharging the battery from solar the next day so that you kind of use the utility company as, as the power provider of last resort. Now, in terms of cost, the Franklin battery is sort of middle of the road uh, in terms of cost. And, and again, a lot of where you're gonna see this Franklin battery being used is for retrofit. In other words, people that already have solar installed on their home, but they wanna add battery storage, the Franklin battery is designed very, very well for that type of application. Now, in terms of ease of the installation, Franklin, although they have what, what really is a massive battery, the battery itself weighs nearly 400 pounds, but they've recently released a new drill-assisted lift that allows a single operator or a single technician to lift the battery in place. In fact, we'll actually show you some of the footage of that, um, that device being used. It can basically be powered by a cordless drill, allows the technician to lift the battery into place, then hang it on the wall bracket, and then move on to making the electrical connections. And in terms of X Factor, I'm gonna give the Franklin battery plus four additional X Factor points. Um, here are the reasons why. Number one is we talked about this is an inverter agnostic battery, meaning that you can couple this on to just about any of the other market leading solar inverters like Solar Edge or Enphase. So if you already have a solar power system, it's very easy to add Franklin. But there's also two other unique features that, that the Powerwall doesn't have. One is generator support. When we talk about maximum redundancy for a solar and battery backup system, or if you're, you're looking at a completely off-grid power system, I often recommend having a fuel burning generator as an auxiliary power source. That way, if you're running in a grid down mode, maybe you hit a patch of overcast weather where the solar panels aren't able to recharge the battery fully every day, all you have to do is fire up the generator, run the generator for a few hours so you can bring your batteries back full, and then you can go back to running off the solar and battery system. So I think for those of you that are really looking for maximum protection, maximum redundancy, having a, a battery system that pr provides generator support is important. Um, by the way, if you're considering a battery storage system for your home and you wanna tie a fuel burning generator into it also, go ahead and leave a comment down below. We'd like to hear from you. Let us know what configuration you're going with in terms of solar inverter batteries and generator hookup. Now, the other reason for the additional X Factor points are these smart circuit controls. And Franklin has a very streamlined way of approaching this where they integrate the smart circuit control right inside of their A gate or their gateway. Now, when we talk about smart circuit control, a lot of this comes down to if I'm running in a grid down mode or in a, in a battery backup mode, I don't necessarily want to run everything in my house at the same time. There are certain high draw but low priority items that have the potential of draining your battery down faster than you want. And so by implementing smart circuit control, you can set parameters as to when certain of those items should be turned off. So for example, let's say you have an electric vehicle charger at home. If you're running on emergency backup power and you're running off battery to power your home, chances are you don't wanna drain your home battery just to put a little bit extra charge in your electric vehicle. So that would be one example. Uh, another example might be uh, an electric clothes dryer. Again, again, if you're in an emergency grid down mode and you're running the home off battery power during the evening, you might not want to allow the clothes dryer to run. Or you might want to allow it to run, but if the battery falls below 50%, then you want to cut it off. And so the smart circuit controls allow you to do that in an automated fashion. All that really means is you're going to just get more running time and, and I think just more value 
out of the battery system. So that's why the additional X Factor points for Franklin here. Okay, so to summarize it, the Tesla Powerwall 3 provides 11.5 kilowatts of continuous power, storage capacity of 13 and a half kilowatt hours, a 10 year warranty. Overall, it's gonna be one of the lowest cost solar and battery storage systems, plus three points for ease of installation and plus two X Factor points for the integration of the physical equipment as well as everything on the Tesla app platform. For the Franklin battery, we're looking at five kilowatts continuous power with 10 kilowatts peak, 13.6 kilowatt hours of storage capacity. You get two additional years on the warranty. Uh, in terms of cost, the Franklin battery is gonna be more middle of the road in terms of a home battery system. Uh, plus four points for ease of installation, especially with the, the use of the new drill powered Franklin battery lift and then plus four X Factor points for some of those additional capabilities like intelligent load control, generator support, and the ability to tie it to just about any existing solar inverter on the market. So if we total it up, I'm gonna give Powerwall 3 five out of five for power. Again, this is a high power battery for a single battery. And most homes will only need a single battery with this setup. A four out of five for storage capacity, three out of five for warranty. It's right at that 10 year standard warranty three out of five for ease of installation, plus two X Factor points for a total of 22 points. Now for the Franklin battery, I'm giving four out of five for power. Franklin really is a high power battery, but it, it's not keeping up with Powerwall 3 in this category. Four out of five for storage capacity. They've got virtually the same usable storage capacity, 13.5 versus 13.6. I do give Franklin an additional point on the warranty because it does have that, that two extra years on the warranty. Three out of five for cost. Again, Franklin, a Franklin total system installation is gonna be pretty middle of the road in terms of cost. Plus four points for ease of installation, plus four X Factor points for a total score of 23 points. Now again, folks, when I do these head-to-head -head comparisons, it's not necessary to say, hey, this battery is always better than this battery. I think you really need to consider the, the, the situation that you're in in, in which might make the most sense. So for example, if you're doing a brand new installation, solar and battery, and you already own a Tesla vehicle, yeah, it might make sense to just keep everything on the Tesla platform. It's already a brand and, a, and an app that you're comfortable with. However, if you already have a solar system, particularly if you have one of the older solar systems that, that was not a so-called battery ready system, and you still wanna be able to add battery storage to it without invalidating the warranty of your existing solar, then in that case, by far, the Franklin whole home system uh, is more desirable because all of the installation can be done at ground level at the AC circuit breaker panel. So I think it really, really depends. I like Franklin a lot for retrofit. I like Franklin for, for true off-grid where you need generator support and you need load control to make the overall solution work. If you're looking for a simple turnkey system that's gonna work pretty much off the shelf for 75% of US households, just want a simple system that's gonna work and cost less, then in that case, I would recommend the Powerwall 3. Well, folks, that pretty much does it for today's comparison. Now, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos you watch on Solar Surge, uh, make sure you give us that thumbs up uh, and go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with us. Uh, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of evaluating different solar and battery storage options for your home, um, if you need to get a price quote for either of these two batteries or, or any of the other leading solar or battery systems, uh, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below there, set up a call with a solar expert, uh, or just use our free online quote tool so you can see how much solar and storage costs in your area. Well, that pretty much does it for today's presentation. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.